In this example, we will study trigonometric identities and geometry. In part A, show that tan B equals tan A plus tan C over 1 minus tan A tan C. The first step is to express angle B in terms of angles A and C. All the angles in a right triangle add up to 180 degrees, so we can use this fact to find unknown angles. Subtract 90 degrees and angle A from 180 degrees. Simplify to get 90 degrees minus A. Now subtract 90 degrees and angle C from 180 degrees. Simplify to get 90 degrees minus C. Opposite angles are equal. This lets us use the angles we just found in the middle triangle. All angles in the middle triangle add up to 180 degrees. This gives us B plus 90 degrees minus A plus 90 degrees minus C equals 180 degrees. Simplify to get B minus A minus C equals zero. Isolate B to get B equals A plus C. Rewrite tan B as tan A plus C. Use the tangent sum identity to get tan of A plus C equals tan A plus tan C over 1 minus tan A tan C. Now we'll move on to part B. If A equals 32 degrees and B equals 89 degrees, what is the value of C? Bring up the diagram for the question. We can solve for C both geometrically and algebraically. Let's begin with a geometric solution. Label the angles in the diagram. Calculate the unknown angle in the top triangle. Opposite angles are equal. Now calculate the unknown angle in the middle triangle. Opposite angles are equal. Now calculate the unknown angle in the bottom triangle. The value of C is 57 degrees. Now we'll attempt an algebraic solution. Begin with the formula from part A. Cross multiply. Distribute tan B through the brackets. Collect terms with C on the right side of the equation. Factor out tan C. Divide both sides by 1 plus tan B tan A to isolate tan C. We now have an equation that can be used to find angle C. Plug in angles A and B. This evaluates to 1.5399 continuing. Take the inverse tangent to both sides to get the answer 57 degrees.